started doing vector robotics in middle school, then FRC in high school, then 15 pound robotics, or 15 pound combat in also high school, and then the next step was BattleBots. Well, yeah. it sounds like <laughs> you have a lot of experience outside of the arena. Uh, nothing to that scale though, obviously. Uh, it's a completely different ball game of, you can learn how to CAD, you can learn how to design for things, but with forces that large where you just don't know what's gonna happen, it's at a different level. My big question for you, why did you choose Omni Wheels? Uh, did Shatter well, just look that cool to you? We chose Omni Wheels because we wanted to get a beater bar into BattleBots. Apparently that wasn't needed. Uh, so it sucks for us, but it makes the bot a lot more interesting, I think, so. So when you were building your first battle bot, did you have any wild dreams that you'd be destroying Hydra and the fight cards? Uh, absolutely not. I don't think we thought we would ever be matched up against Hydra. We were pretty sure we were only matched up with them solely as a feeder kind of match, and I think everyone else knew that too. So the result that happened happening was really shocking to us and to everyone. I think that's why it's such a great moment. So the rookie selection this year seemed to be very, very tough. You, Riptide, uh, Dragon Slayer, all of you guys came in with quite a high level of proficiency. Is there some reason all the rookies were so battle hardened already this year? I think just it's just a slow progression of bots getting more and more armored and heavy uh, just as time goes on uh, and battle bots gets more traction and teams get more competitive to break into the arena. Like you have to show the producers that you won't get immediately destroyed. And to do that, you have to be like, we have several copies. We have big billet frame that won't be destroyed or any other pull for them, uh, whether it's uniqueness or just proving that you'll work. Uh, and proving that your work a lot of times comes from people who have done robotics before, who know a bit more about what they're doing than if it's a hobbyist first build. And a big congratulations to Plunderbird for your recommendation for the pizza themed party robot. You are going to win the sticker pack. Please answer our comment so we can get your address. So Glitch seems to hit like a tank. Yeah. When you sent Hydra soaring through the air, it, uh, it left me with the impression you are not to be messed with. Uh, how did you do that? Uh, it's just heavy. <laughs> uh, oh, there's gotta be more to it yeah, than that. Come on. Oh, okay. So part of it is beater bars in general. If you think of like a truck ramming into something versus a tiny like toy car ramming into something. The truck does a lot more damage. Uh, rotationally, uh, if you put more mass on the end, it's the same effect uh, as if like a straight movement, just adding more weight. So the beater bar, by having that like strip where you have the two rails and you have that long one at the very end of the bar, you're effectively adding the mass or rotational mass uh, inertia uh, to the bar. Uh, and in doing that, as opposed to maybe a drum where you have all that mass in the center with a huge hub, uh, you're increasing the amount of uh, stored energy and momentum. So when you hit someone, it hits harder. So I'm sure everyone's dying to know. You went three and oh, you made the top 32, congratulations. Thank you. After five years of doing this, I'm still looking for a 3-0 season, so I'm very impressed. What did it feel like getting in, but then not being able to make the final push? It's, it's just crushing. It's crushing because we know it's like our fault that we didn't make it. We were too ambitious, which I guess is the reason we got to battle us in the first place, but that time it it didn't work out uh, and especially at the at the beginning we thought we wouldn't even get a fight right we were pushing the fight way way past of when it was supposed to have happened with Ghost Raptor 
and then we barely had it. It went all right, and then we we're like, okay, we're gonna lose to Hydra, and then we aren't gonna have a frame for Kraken because it's in the same day. And then that day went how it went, and we were so high, we were so excited, and then boom, we're out. Well, are you coming back for another season if there is a season seven of BattleBots? A hundred percent. The weapon, this is a lot of things. And whenever I go on these rants, people always tell me that I get very confusing and convoluted. So sorry about that if that happens. Don't worry, the comment section uh, will sort it out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 